Iboni ne no nozo. Mandi no nezi eke ne mo no. Onyabo na zalen kane tuya. It is a great honor and privilege to welcome all of you to this two-part uh, webinar. The first part uh, held two weeks ago. And uh, from the feedback uh, we've gotten, uh, it appears that uh, things went well. So let me use this opportunity to thank all the participants in the last webinar, especially the speakers who I believe uh, did the Igbo Nation proud. Daluno. Let me now use this opportunity to uh, retreat a bit of what happened at the last webinar, or what I might call a, a recap, so that it will form a base for what we are going to do uh, today. Of course, the last webinar was about Ohaneze as an institution, the yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And from what transpired uh, at the last meeting, it shows that uh, three or four key things stand out. And that is the structure of Ohaneze, which we will say prior to the uh, webinar, appeared a bit opaque to uh, many Igbos, that sometimes they think that uh, Ohaneze is for elders. But I believe that after two weeks ago, it is now clear to all Igbo people that membership of Ohaneze is for all adult Igbos, men and women, young and uh, old. It's a different matter if you're not uh, participating. But it's clear now that it is not for certain people of certain age, but for all Igbos, Igbo adults. And that is anchored on town unions, okay? Town unions are like the base. So once again, it is clear that Ohaneze is for all of us, but the base is the town unions. Another matter that cropped up was that of finance. Okay, that probably uh, the financing of Ohaneze as an organization is not what it should be. And that uh, probably uh, a lot of people are not taking kindly that a lot of the financing is coming from uh, the government. And it shouldn't be so as people looked at it. Then the other one that also propped up, which I could say relates to the first one, is that of uh, participation of young adults and women in Ohaneze. You know, there was presently, uh, there doesn't seem to be much connect or participation by young uh, Igbo adults in uh, Ohaneze and also the women. Now that leads me to what we are going to do today, uh, which is uh, the leadership uh, of uh, Ohaneze, past, present, and future. I think we could say that uh, the past is the past, the present is the present. And uh, with regards to the present, I will say that uh, I will recuse myself about speaking uh, about the present because uh, as some of you may not know, the current president general and his dear late wife were sponsors of my wedding with my wife. So in that instance, uh, anything I say could be uh, biased. So I leave that to other people to comment on. So I think the focus is more on the future. And I believe that uh, the panel and uh, other speakers will do justice to that. But I might just use this unique opportunity to highlight one or two areas that I think we should uh, look at in terms of uh, the leadership going forward. And that is uh, that we expect that we'll have a new leadership by uh, January 10th, 
2021. And in selecting that new leadership, we should not focus on one position, which is a mistake that sometimes most of us make. We should focus on all the especially the president general, the secretary general, and then the publicity secretary to make sure that uh, the right people are there from the states that are supposed to come from. And in this instance, I think the president general is coming from Imo state and then the secretary general from uh, Abia state. Another area I will want to look at uh, is that of uh, the issue of participation by young people and uh, women. From what we had so far in the constitution, there's this idea of a uh, women wing and uh, a young uh, people's wing, which for me, it's a bit uh, neither here nor there, in the sense that the constitution is at the beginning is very straightforward on who a member is, and that is an uh, adult Igbos. It didn't say it is only for older Igbos. And in that regard, uh, I think I also know that we don't have men's wing. So it looks a bit uh, iffy if you have a uh, men's and women's wing. So I think it's an area that we should look at, that the new leadership should look at to ensure that it doesn't give the impression of uh, young people and women being appendages. They are rightfully members of uh, Ohaneze by birth and by uh, age. And that's how it should be. Another area that uh, the new leadership will look at before I uh, finally uh, conclude my welcome remarks is that of uh, the relationship with uh, our people of the IPOB group. Is an area that uh, people don't want to talk about, but uh, I think I believe I have a locus to say something about this. I and some other people of people extraction, which included Chukuma Soludo, Professor Otomi, Ferdinand Dago, and Co. Remember that we went to Kujie prison to see the uh, leader of uh, IFOP. I left Lagos, left what I was doing. And we spent about three hours with him. And uh, whether it is so or not, uh, our visit and our subsequent press conference was something that uh, the villa noticed and recognized. And uh, I think uh, it led to a push that uh, finally led to his release. So you know that what some of us played some role in being able to stick out our necks to say, yes, I think maybe he was wrongly being held up. And we know the discussions we had with him and uh, someday, you know, all the discussions, everybody will know it. But the point being made is um, IPOB is part and parcel of the Igbo nation. And Ohaneze is the umbrella body of the Igbo nation as we said. I think on that note, uh, my time is up, but let me also now thank uh, the groups that have supported this event again. Ndibo Lagos, Aki Kenga, Center for Memories, World Ibo Congress, Ibo World Assembly, Zuko Munna, Alibo Development Foundation, Ibo Kunye, which uh, I believe the anchor is uh, part of, and the Ibo Renaissance Forum. Ndibanyi. Dalu no, all hands should be on deck as we go ahead to form uh, and select the new leadership for Ohaneze. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, um, Chief uh, Emeka Ugoji. Uh, so uh, now you have said it all you know it is good actually that you laid the foundation and the involvement you had in the you know in the negotiations that led to um our to releasing of our brother thank you very much for touching that part i know is one part that many of us don't really want to go into now <laughs>